Hey everybody, it's James here from GoodGuitarist.com and in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to play Wild World by Cat Stevens and I'm going to show you both a simplified way to play it and then I'll show you the, the actual way to play it like I just did in the demonstration. Um, if along the way you find you need any extra help, I have a few resources. There's my free ebook which goes over all the basics of chords and strumming. There's my complete beginner's course which does that but a hundred times over going much deeper into it all. And um, I have my course Bar Chords Made Easy if you want to learn the F bar chord. We're also going to do a simplified version of it, like I said before. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, there's also a chord chart available on my Patreon if you need help following along with the tune once you've learned it. So with no further ado, let's figure out the chord shapes. We're going to start with the verse, which has an A minor shape. Then D. G, C, then we have F, and we can do the F bar chord, and if you want to get into that, like I said before, I have a course Bar Chords Made Easy, which is meant to help anybody get into bar chords, you know, working on the technique of it rather than just pushing really hard, you know, we actually figure out how to get it under our fingers. But if you want to do it in a simpler way, we skip the first string, put our index on the first fret of the B string, middle finger on the second fret of the next one, pinky finger on the third fret of the D string, then our ring finger also on the third fret, just above it, and I'm going to put my thumb lightly touching the thickest string to mute it. And coming from a C chord, it's actually a really easy switch. We just leave those two fingers down, our index and our ring, we can kind of just pivot off of them as we switch into that F. So I would practice that a little bit. Then we have D minor. And coming from F, we can leave our middle finger down. So practice that. And then we have E7. And those are all the shapes that we need. I know it's quite a few, but you know we're going to work through them nice and slow. We're going to play down strokes only, starting on A minor. We're going to count out loud just to get the chords in the right order and make sure we're doing everything for the right amount of time. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. D, two, three, four. Let's do the easy F. F, two, three, four, D minor. E7 for two measures. One, two, three, back to A minor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. C. So at the end there, there was a bit of a surprise. We went E, two, three, four, and we switched to G one beat early. So just try that out, counting out loud. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then just rewind the lesson and go through that section again until you can get it. So that is the entire verse as far as the chords are concerned. Now let's take a look at the strumming pattern. It goes like this. I'll do it a little bit slower. Three and four and one. So the first bit of the strumming pattern is pretty simple. We have our chord shape and we go root, root. And all that means is to aim for the root or the bass notes of that chord. So it's just like a little downstroke. Root, root. And then on beat three, we do a full downstroke. So I want you to practice going between root, root, down. Root, root, down. Maybe switch to D. 
For this one, the root is right there, but we can aim for the same area roughly, you know, root, root, down. Try it with G, and for that one, the root's right here on the edge, so it's a little bit easier. Root, root, down, root, root, down. And all we have to do to finish up this strumming pattern is do a down up on beat four. So let's stick with a G chord. One, two, three, four down up on beat four. Let's try that a few times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Practice that over each of the shapes and get really used to it. And when you're ready, we can play it with our chord progression so far. Starting off on A minor. One, two, three, four. Now for those last couple chords, we just kept it as downstrokes only because that actually works better than the strumming pattern there in my opinion. And if you want to make it sound more like the original recording, we can add a little bit of a bass line to it. It would go like this. So I strummed it the same way. One, two, three, four. And then I count one, two, and I play on the D string. Three, three, two, two, oh, oh. Nice and slow all together. One, two, three, four, one, two. Let's try just the last four measures of the verse just starting from F, going F, D minor, and then playing that little bit, just if you're interested in doing it the more intermediate way. Otherwise, we can just keep it strumming only, but you know, if you're interested, here we go. Two, three, four. B, one, two. And from there, we go to the chorus, which is mostly C, F, and G, just the same progression over and over again. At the very end, we go D minor, E7, two beats each. Let's just strum through downstrokes only, just so you can get an idea what it's all about. Uh, one, two, three, four. So go through that as many times as you need to to get the chord order down. And now we can add the strumming to that and do it in a simple way without any of the little licks and riffs. And at the very end for that D minor and E7 when we did them for two beats each, we're just gonna go down, down, up on each of the chords. So down, down, up, down, down, up. Starting off on C, one, two, three, four.
So that's all the strumming for this tune, and you could play the song with just what we've learned already. But if you want to take it a step further, we can add a couple of riffs to the chorus to make it sound like the original recording. The first one goes like this. So we strum our C chord and our G chord like we usually would, and then for F, we're just going root, root, down. We're stopping our pattern a little bit early, and that gives us time to prepare to play our lick, which goes like this. And that's just a descending scale. So if you've never learned any scales, here you go. This is the C major scale descending, starting on C, which is the first note of the B string, the first fret, I mean. I have my index finger there. You know, it helps actually if you think about your C chord when you're doing this. So we start off on the B string, one, zero. Then we go to the G string and we go two, zero. And then on the D string, three, two, zero. And finally, three. Let's break that down a little bit more. Let's just do the first half. We're gonna go on the B string and the, the G string. We're gonna go one, zero, two, zero. Just try that a few times. Three and four and. Three and four and. Three and four and. And as far as the picking's concerned, I'm going down, up on each string. So down, up, down, up. And if you're playing it with your fingers, it might be a little tough to, to get it up to speed. Um, you could try plucking it with just one finger. Or you could alternate. That's the more classical thing to do, you know, alternate between your index and middle. But um, I recommend using a pick for this because it's going to make it a lot easier. So that's the first half of the melody. And then once we're on the D string, we go three, two, O, oh, and then three on the thickest string. And I'm just alternate picking. I'm just going down, up, down, up. You know, just alternating between down, up. Let's try that second half a few times going three, two, O, oh, three, one, and two, and. One and two and. And once you've practiced each half, we put them together. Three and four and. So practice that a whole bunch slowly until it's comfortable, until you can get it up to speed, up to about. It might seem kind of fast, but you know, if you practice it diligently, it should work out. Anyways, now that we've worked on that melody a bit, let's do the chord before it. So let's work on transitioning into it. So that's going into it, and now we have to practice landing on the next chord shape. So we'll start with our riff, and then we'll land on a G chord going. And I actually am playing G this way because I finish my riff on that finger, and it's easier for me to go like that into a G chord. You could try doing that, but I feel this note has to get cut off too soon, and it's not as smooth. So Let's go. Just to work our way into that G shape. Three and four and. Three, four. 
So this lick happens two times in the chorus. There's one other lick, goes like this. And that one's actually a little bit easier. It's just a couple notes. We start off on the third fret of the thickest string. We play it two times. Then we go on the A string, zero, three, 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 zero. So zero, three, 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 zero. Just try that, zero, then the third fret three times, and then zero again, the open string. And then we finish off with the same note we started on. So let's try that really slowly going Once again, practice that a whole bunch of times because we are going to have to play it relatively fast. You know, if we wanted to do it slowly, the rest of the song would be agonizingly slow. You know, compared to the strumming, this riff is twice as fast. So, um, you know, it is just going to take a little bit of work. Anyways, let's do the same thing where we practice going into it. We're coming from a C chord. We're just going to go root, root, down, and then we'll play our riff. Three, four, root, root, down. And then we practice coming out of it and we're going into a C chord. So we go. So we're just going to play our riff and then we're going to strum one measure of C. And at the end there of the riff, we do have to move our finger quickly to get into our C chord. So let's just practice that. Three and four. Cool, so those are all the extra little bits. Let's practice going through this entire tune, doing it the intermediate way now, you know, with all the extra riffs and everything. Starting off in the verse on A minor, a one, two, three, four.
So that's how you play Wild World by Cat Stevens. If you need any extra help, don't forget about my resources. There's my free ebook, my complete beginner's course, and those go over all the basics of rhythm and strumming, you know, to help you do the simplified version of this tune and a bunch of other stuff. It's basically gonna teach you all the basic chords, all the most useful strumming patterns, how to develop your rhythm from scratch, you know, everything it takes to, to feel good when you're playing music. And um, I have bar chords made easy if you're interested in playing that F bar chord. I have a new course coming out on strumming. It might already be out by the time I edit this one, who knows. Um, and then there's that chord chart on my Patreon. So uh, if you need any extra help, please check those out. It really helps support the channel. Otherwise, have a fun time practicing and I'll see you soon.